Blackstone Publishing presents On the Border with Crook by John Gregory Bork. This book is read by Traber Burns. To Francis Parkman, whose learned and graceful pen has illustrated the history, traditions, wonders, and resources of the Great West, this volume, descriptive of the trials and tribulations, hopes and fears of brave officers and enlisted men of the regular army, who did so much to conquer and develop the empire beyond the Missouri, is affectionately inscribed by his admirer and friend, John G. Bork, Omaha, Nebraska, August 12, 1891. Preface There is an old saw in the army which teaches that you can never know a man until after having made a scout with him in bad weather. All the good qualities and bad in the human makeup force their way to the surface under the stimulus of privation and danger, and it not infrequently happens that the comrade who at the military post was most popular, by reason of charm of manner and geniality, returns from this trial sadly lowered in the estimation of his fellows, and that he who in the garrison was most retiring, self-composed, and least anxious to make a display of glittering uniform, has swept all before him by the evidence he has given of fortitude, equanimity, courage, coolness, and good judgment under circumstances of danger and distress. But whether the maxim be true or false, it is hardly too much for me to claim a hearing while I recall all that I know of a man with whom for more than fifteen years— it was my fortune to be intimately associated in all the changing vicissitudes which constituted service on the border of yesterday, which has vanished never to return. It is not my purpose to write a biography of my late friend and commander. Such a task I leave for others to whom it may be more congenial. Speaking for myself, I am compelled to say that it is always difficult for me to peruse biography of any kind especially military, and that which I do not care to read, I do not care to ask others to read. In the present volume there will be found collected descriptions of the regions in which the major portion of General Crook's Indian work was carried on, the people, both red and white, with whom he was brought into contact, the difficulties with which he had to contend, and the manner in which he overcame them and a short sketch of the principles guiding him in his justly famous intercourse with the various tribes. Sample complete. Ready to continue?